The AI audio space is one that absolutely fascinates me and Meta is now getting into this space in a big way. You know, typically I've talked a lot about 11 Labs. I think that's probably the best in class right now for text to audio. Um, but there's also, of course, Well Said Labs that is really good as well. You can use that for a lot of really great things. But Meta is jumping in and Meta has just unveiled what they're calling Audio Box. This is essentially is an AI that clones voices and also generates ambient sounds. This is doing a lot of interesting things. Um, I'm going to dive into all of this on the podcast. I also think this is interesting for the, the work and the move, uh, especially with the ambient sounds, where we're going towards uh, being able to make our own self-directed videos. This is a prediction I made uh, with Jack McCulley on my podcast a few months ago. Um, and, you know, of course, he's the co-founder of Oculus, and I was talking about how this is going to be a reality. So I think this is something that takes us in a step in, in that direction. So I'm, I'm going to talk about all of this on the podcast today. Super interesting topic. And I just wanted to say before we get into it, a huge thank you to, we just passed over 600 followers on our AI Box crowdfunding campaign on Republic. AI Box is my no-code AI app builder and marketplace. If you're interested in investing in an AI startup, you can go to republic.com slash AI dash box. And we're taking minimum investments of $150, maximum investments of $100,000. we have raised, we just crossed $280,000. So if you're interested, you can go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description, but let's get on with the podcast. Welcome to the world's number one AI podcast, AI Chat. I'm your host, Jaden Schaefer. Make sure that you go to AIbox.ai, link in the show notes, to join the waitlist for our new AI platform. We're going to be launching an incredible platform that allows you to build anything you want with workflows um, in AI. So you're able to chain together chat GPT and image generators and audio generators to make really powerful apps for your organization, or you can host them on our marketplace and actually generate royalties from them. So make sure to go to AIbox.ai and join the waitlist for in addition, if you like the podcast, if you could do me a massive favor and please leave us a review on Apple or Spotify or wherever you listen to your podcast. This helps me be able to get better guests on here as they check the reviews to see how you guys are liking it. So if you could please do that, I would really, really appreciate it. Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast? I record and publish podcasts on a platform called Spotify for Podcasters, and I absolutely love it. Essentially, you can upload from your phone or computer, and it distributes to every platform that plays podcasts. They support video podcasts, and you can make money on the platform with ads or even podcast subscriptions, something that has made my life so much easier as a podcaster. So if you're interested, I highly recommend you give it a try. You can download the Spotify for Podcast app or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started on your podcast today. So the AI voice cloning space is really evolving quickly. Ed Meta has just put on the gloves and come out swinging with their new audio box. I think this is a really big leap in voice cloning technology. And in true Meta fashion, I mean, this is really what they've been doing with virtually every AI space right now, is they have released this for free. This is absolutely insane. This is coming on the back. So they've just released like an image generator. Go look up like Imagine by Meta. And it's almost as good as Mid Journey, almost as good. Actually, I think it's just as good as Dolly 3. This thing's completely free and available now. There's no wait list. You just go on their website. I don't think you need to make an account. You can just go use it. So um, this is insane. Meta is doing some some really crazy stuff when they say they're committed to open source. I think they're kind of serious about this. And I don't know if it's just kind of like a big, uh, you know, screw you to the whole industry that seems to be making a ton of money and, you know, raising billion dollar valuations. But Meta is just pumping out like really high quality AI projects and ones that are ready for consumers, like they're image generating one. Um, and like doing it completely free, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, other than maybe it's just kind of them trying to, I don't know, stay relevant and uh, I don't know, push the other guys down. I have no idea, but I mean, I'm I'm here for it. I love this. This is amazing. Obviously, I'm you know the beneficiary. All of us are the beneficiary of this. So, um, of course, we've heard a lot from startups like Eleven Labs that have already grabbed a lot of funding for these kind of voice cloning things. Um, but yeah, this new one um, out of Meta of course, was developed by the Facebook AI Research, that's F-A-I-R Lab. And AudioBox represents a, a big advancement, I, I think, in audio generation technology. So this was built on their previous work, VoiceBox, um, and it's designed as a quote-unquote new foundation research model for audio generation. So according to the AudioBox webpage, it also allows the creation of custom audio using a combination of voice inputs and text prompts catering to a variety of use cases. So, right, you can throw your your text prompt in there and it will read it or you can put your voice in there and it can clone your voice which is amazing 
Um, users can, you know, essentially just throw like type a sentence in or describe a sound and Audiobox will is then able to generate the requested audio. So what I think is interesting here is you're also getting sounds. This isn't something that we're seeing out of 11 Labs or a lot of other places. Um, in fact, this may be one of the, the biggest places doing this right now where it's like beyond just getting it to read something, you say like, you know, a tiger walking in the savannah and it's going to like generate the audio very like sound very very cool so in addition audiobox also offers a capability to clone your voice this is part i think of meta's broader initiative to develop a quote-unquote family of models um, for audio generation this is really cool like they're committed to making a ton of different um audio models similar or um, ai models similar to what OpenAI is doing where they're you know they're they're doing the video they're doing the audio they're doing the image they're doing the text. Uh, it looks like Meta is doing the same thing. They're not stopping at some of their text generation models they had earlier. So including um, they're going to do speech, uh, mimicry, and also ambient sound effects like barking dogs or playing children. At the center, I think, of Audiobox is essentially a self-supervised learning. So that's SSL, which is a deep learning technique where AI algorithms generate their own labels for unlabeled data. This is very interesting. Um the approach essentially is detailed in a in a recent paper that they put out, um, which is kind of emphasizing the strategy using unsupervised audio to train the foundation model. This method is critical because high quality labeled data isn't always available and scaling is really key um, to making this work. So the team has trained Audiobox with an extensive data set. I think it includes 160,000 hours of speech, 20,000 hours of music, and 6,000 hours of sound samples. So this is covering a really big range of language and acoustic conditions. Um, the origins of the data, whether public domain or otherwise, they, they're not really, really specifying here. So some people are like, you know, raising questions about copyright issues and, um, you know, that kind of stuff. What I will say is if they grabbed it and they're just not telling anyone, well, okay, so is everyone else in the industry, so I can't be too mad. That being said, though, like if you went to Audio Jungle and bought, like a company like Meta could probably spend, a, you know, twenty million dollars and buy all the audio files on Audio Jungle, um, and then you get like all of the ambient sounds, all of the music, all of the audio. So I think like you could essentially make your own data set and train it with, if you purchased it. One of these big companies could, anyways, um, and be completely fine. So whether they did that for this first version or they do that in the future, I'm not sure. But I think there's a viable path to it so i'm really not concerned especially when it's a free open source kind of project uh where the where the content came from this time around anyways so meta was showcasing this audio all of the audio box capabilities through a bunch of interactive demos um essentially they're allowing users to clone their voice generate new sounds while all of the demos of course are impressive i think it's important that i give a disclaimer with them um they all also said that these are purely for research and can't be used commercially and are unavailable in states like Illinois and Texas because of some legal restrictions on audio collection, which is kind of interesting. Um, the other disclaimer I want to give is with any demo until it comes out and any like everyone can actually test it and use it. There's I just I think uh, I, I lost all trust with the Google Gemini debacle where they gave a really impressive demo and then said, you know, essentially they manipulated it and and edited it. So it was you know, did what they wanted it to do and made it look a lot better than it was. So I'm skeptical of demos until I actually get my hands on and try the thing. But for all intents and purposes, this is looking quite impressive. Um, I think interestingly, unlike Meta's recent open source uh, venture, like the Llama 2 language models, Audiobox, this one isn't actually open source. The decision, I think, is kind of different from a lot of Meta's previous commitments to open source AI technologies. Um, and so I think while currently restricted for non-commercial use and also limited by regional access, the potential for commercial applications of Audiobox I think is really big. Maybe that's why they're not making this thing. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they released it for free, so for people to try, but, you know, of course they could pay wallet later. Um, but it is not open source. I think with AI technology that's changing really quickly, it's only a matter of time before voice, toning, cl voice cloning tools like Audiobox become really wildly widely used. Um, I've played around with them and used them for a lot of impressive uh, projects and things. So I think this is great. Of course, Eleven Labs is the big one that is monetizing this right now and, of course, has raised a ton of money. But, um, you know, I, I see no reason why players like Meta couldn't come in and do it just as well. And I think that something unique they're offering here is the entire, like, uh, sound effects 
right? So making like the sounds of birds or the sounds of children at a park, like all of those I think are also um, really impressive. And I'm not seeing a lot of other people do that. So definitely a very interesting story. We'll continue to follow. We'll keep you up to date on what Meta does next with these new AI models. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. That's the sound of switching your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling. Harness the best converting checkout and same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Stop leaving sales on the table. Discover why millions trust Shopify to build, grow, and run their business. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech23. Thank you for listening to the AI Chat Podcast. If you enjoyed the podcast, I'd appreciate it if you rate me wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you're looking for an innovative group of AI enthusiasts, make sure you check out our Discord channel and also our Facebook community. It's obviously a lot more interactive than a podcast where we can actually share software tools, prompts that we're using in everyday AI. I'll leave a link for those in the description below. 